Hello everybody and welcome back to Nintendo Land. Today's video is going to be a lot different than what you guys have been used to seeing from the channel. Today we have a huge cultivation of many different Nintendo YouTubers coming together today for a good purpose. We have come together today to give you guys our ultimate Nintendo video game wish. But while doing so, every penny that this video makes will go to the Feed the Children charity. COVID-19 has made it extremely difficult for families to get food for their children, so you guys can help out tremendously. Simply each dollar donated will provide $8 worth of food and essentials for these families and children. So just by tuning in and watching this video today, you guys are helping out a ton. And if you want to go the extra mile, there is a donate button in the description right below the video. Click it and feel free to donate any amount that you feel is necessary. And of course, if you guys want to check out any of these amazing Nintendo YouTubers, check the description. I will link all of their channels down below. Thank you guys so much for your support and your patience. Now, let's get on to our ultimate Nintendo wishes. So first, let's start off with my wish. My wish is something that I've been asking for for a very, very long time. Nope, not Inkling and Smash, that already happened. But, something to do with Inkling. Yes, Splatoon needs a Battle Royale mode. Nintendo needs more games where the community can keep playing well after it releases. An example of this is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with the DLC characters that continue to come years after the game already dropped. And what a better way to do this than a Splattle Royale. The concept is simple. 100 Inkling players land on a super expansive map that's built among different multiplayer maps from the Splatoon franchise. Your goal? Collect loot, outrun the wave, and be the last Inkling standing. There'll be tons of loot to find along your adventure and tons of customizable options for your inkling and possibly even a battle pass that you can continue to upgrade your character throughout a season which gives Nintendo the opportunity to make multiple seasons to keep the game moving well after launch. So with Splatoon 3 right around the corner, I'm saying my prayers. Hey guys, Thomas here from the Switch Stop channel. I have a bunch of Nintendo wishes, but one that sticks out to me right now is new Mario Kart content. Whether it's Mario Kart 9 or an 8 Deluxe Expansion Pass, I just want any sort of new racetracks. I'd love to get some returning retro tracks from past games such as Sunset Wilds, Wario's Shipyard, Airship Fortress, or maybe even the Battle Course Block Fort, but I'd also love to see some really interesting new courses too. I think the Mario Kart team has already proved time and time again they're creative. I mean, you got courses like Coconut Mall or Rainbow Road that come from really nothing, they're just created for Mario Kart. But I'd love to see the Mario Kart team take more inspiration from past Mario titles. Imagine driving around Pinna Park from Mario Sunshine or Twilight Town from Paper Mario. There are so many possibilities and so many new cups they could add, which makes the fact that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe got no DLC just so much more confusing. That's definitely my one Nintendo wish. Hey guys, it's William, also known as Nintendo Black Crisis, and I love Paper Mario. Specifically the first few games in the series. Those who know me well are aware that Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is my favorite game of all time. And that's why my wish for Nintendo is to remaster this game and release it for the Nintendo Switch. Ever since the release of Sticker Star, the series has gone downhill with the removal of a proper battle system, leveling up, and unique characters. Origami King tries to reintroduce these elements into the series, but in my opinion Thousand Year Door was the series at its best and continues to hold that reputation. And I'm definitely not the only one who wants this to be a reality. There are many people out there who have yet to experience this masterpiece, and it's a real shame because if Nintendo were to remake these on the Switch, it has potential to be one of the system's best games. And maybe, just maybe, push the series back into the direction many fans are desperate to see. Please, Nintendo, give us a remaster of Thousand Year Door. Hi everyone, I'm Odyssey Central, and I enjoy making videos on the Mario franchise and Smash Bros. As I'm sure you all can guess by my channel name, my number one Nintendo wish is... I want Dry Bones in Smash. He is my absolute favorite character from my absolute favorite franchise. Ever since he was playable in Mario Kart DS, he's been my main in every game he's appeared in. Mario Kart, Party, Sports, and whatever else. My second favorite game series is Smash Bros though, and I would love it if he got a chance to be playable there. He could have a unique mechanic where he could break himself apart and use his body as weapons against the opponents that no other character could really have. Even if they just want to add Koopa Troopa and then make Dry Bones a skin like Zombie is for Steve, I would be 100% fine with that outcome. I just want to play as Dry Bones and Smash in any way I can. I mean, he's the only Mario Kart 8 Deluxe character to not be in the game in some form, not even a spirit. I used to think that there was very little hope, but when Piranha Plant got added in, I saw that there was an actual chance for Dry Bones to eventually make it, whether it be an Ultimate or a Smash game far in the future. 
I just hope to eventually see the day where I can finally consider my Smash main character roster to be complete. My name is Nikachu, and my dream Nintendo game is called Nintendo Life. It's a combination of two worlds, Nintendo and Tomodachi Life. In this game, you'll live in a dream world where it's a very dramatic Nintendo crossover. Think of it like a life simulator version of Super Smash Bros. Iconic Nintendo characters like Pikachu, Link, and even Princess Daisy live right next door. Your daily routines consist of planting fruit with Isabelle and Ganon. You can have a hangout session with Mewtwo and Funky Kong. Collect coins, which of course is the currency of this world by doing daily jobs like working at the local burger joint with Kirby and Chikorita. <laughs> Take a silly and fun simulator game like Tomodachi Life or Sims and combine it with the world and characters of Super Smash Bros and you'll get this new game called Nintendo Life, which is my dream Nintendo game. Hey everyone, it's Cyroth here, and for my number one Nintendo game wish, I'm going with a Mario Sports Grant Collection. Now we've had collections like Mario Sports Mix, Sports Superstars, and even all the Olympic titles before, but none possess the amount of depth that games like Strikers, Baseball, or even Mario Hoops provide. For this Grant Collection, my dream would have five sports included with all the customization, features, and uniqueness that these games brought to the table. Alongside the return of these three sports, some of my favorites of all time, I'd love to see Mario Football included here as well. Just imagine all the wild team possibilities here, and various ways items could be implemented into gameplay. To round out the collection, I hope we get Mario Hockey once again. They've tried this as a mini game a few times, but we've never seen it get a full focus and there's a ton of potential for it. If these games were all given as much depth as we got in the solo titles, a fun story campaign was included, along with an expansive online mode to PvP and host leagues, this would undoubtedly be one of my favorite Nintendo games ever. And that's why it's my number one wish. Hello, this is Peter from The Basement, and my Nintendo wish is that Nintendo would purchase the rights to SimCity from Electronic Arts. SimCity is a city-building sandbox simulation game franchise created by Will Wright and developed by Maxis for early computer platforms in 1989. Nintendo helped to develop a port of the original SimCity and published it on the Super Nintendo back in 1991. They added a lot of Nintendo-esque charm and polish, including special buildings, advice from Dr. Wright, and a Bowser-themed disaster scenario. Maxis and SimCity were purchased purchased by EA in 1997, and this led to the eventual downfall of the franchise and the elimination of Maxis altogether in 2015. EA likes to squeeze profit out of its properties and often squeezes the life and fun out of their games in the process. It seems as though the only chance for this game and all of its massive potential to return to its former glory is for a company with the love of gaming and fun, and that has a lot of money, to purchase the rights and bring SimCity back to life. Hey everybody out there in Nintendo Land land? My name is Rob and I'm from the channel Rule of Two Review where we talk about all sorts of fun Nintendo and Metroid focused topics. And in deciding what my number one Nintendo game wish would be, it's pretty obvious that I was going to focus on the Metroid franchise because that's what I do and I have so many wishes within the Metroid series. With Metroid Prime 4 currently being developed and somewhere on the horizon, as well as some significant rumors about a potential new 2D Metroid game, what I wanted to focus on for my wish is more of an exploration about the Chozo race. For those familiar with the Metroid lore and specifically the original Metroid Prime, we all know that the Chozo were introduced as an integral part to Samus and her backstory. She spends much of that game revealing and discovering all sorts of pieces of history and lore and backstory on the Chozo race as she wanders through the depths of Talon 4. While we do get some insight into who they were, how they thought and operated, and their relation to Samus specifically, there's still a lot left on the table to understand exactly who they were, if any of them are maybe even still alive, and why they're so important to Samus. The best way I personally could envision this happening is if some sort of genesis to her story in her next game means that she has to seek out the origin of this race, and hopefully, like I hinted at earlier, discover that maybe one or some of the Chozo race are still alive somewhere that she could meet, talk to, learn from, and send her on a whole brand new adventure across the galaxy. I think this part of the Metroid story and lore is ripe for the picking, and with any luck, sometime soon or in Metroid Prime 4, we're gonna really dive deep on just who the Chozo really were. Hey, this is Marcelo with Game Domain, narrating for Domain 76. We do rankings, documentaries, and a lot of videos on Paper Mario, so if you're into that, be sure to check us out. Choosing to talk about just one wish for a Nintendo game was a difficult task, but I had to go with Super Paper Mario 2. It is my favorite game of all time, 
and it's still one of the most unique Mario games. It's widely considered to have the greatest story in a Mario game with its amount of lore, but it's been all but forgotten by Nintendo. Getting a sequel that shows what happened after the events of the first game, or maybe even a prequel with more challenging gameplay, more levels, puzzles, and variety would just be amazing. Super Paper Mario has some flaws, and Nintendo would definitely be able to iron them out in a sequel as well as finally give us even more to the great story of the original game. It's just a game I have so much nostalgia for, and still greatly enjoy to this day, and would love to have Super Paper Mario 2 as my one Nintendo wish. If I had a couple more wishes, Galaxy 3, and a sequel to the Thousand Year Door would be up there as well. This has been Marcella with Game Domain, and thank you to Nintendo Land for inviting us to be part of this collab. Big thanks once again to all of the great Nintendo YouTubers that came in and gave their ultimate Nintendo wish today. I really appreciate every single one of you guys, and if you guys want to check out their channels, once again, check the description. All the links to their channels are posted, and if you want to donate to Feed the Children charity, feel free to do so as well. The donation button should be right below the video if you want to click and leave a donation. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and like always, I will see you on the next one. See you guys.